Hey guys, welcome back to BeamNG Drive. It's, uh, it's been a little while since we played this game. We're here on the grid map in this very strange car that's not actually what we're gonna be looking at in the video. I just felt like I didn't want to start with just the basic truck, you know? So I, I'm driving this pink car that has no traction. Um, but actually, what we're gonna do today is a mod that I think has actually been out for a long time and I just missed it. And I, I'm disappointed in myself for missing it because it's amazing. It's this bus, but it's just not in. It's just it's, it's it's not just any bus. They've got all these cool versions with lots of power, cool two drivers. You know, it's got rockets on it. Tech demo. I don't even. Mm -hmm. Wait, driver plus six. What does that mean? It kind of froze there for a sec. So tech driver plus six. I think just has like a bunch of dummies in it. I don't really get it. Indestructible. Ooh. Okay, yeah, but these are all cool, but uh, obviously this one has wings. This is everything I want. Yeah, sure. When buses fly. Yep, we're doing this one. This is everything I've ever wanted in BeamNG. I mean, <laughs> it's perfect. We got rockets. We got wings. We got a bus. We're ready. Oh, boy. Real loud. The neutral. Okay. Drive. So, what, I'm, what I've learned about this bus is that if you floor it, as soon as you basically hit the trigger all the way in, the rockets fire. But if you just baby it, I mean, just don't, don't completely get to the floor, and uh, you can just use the engine. It's great. It drives like a normal bus. We could stop. We could pick up kids. Hey there, kids. Get in my bus. Everything will be totally fine. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of e-brake. But this is great. Like, look at this. Look at this detail right here. Um, wait. Excuse me. Uh, we need to put. Oh boy. Park. Uh, we need to put out our stop sign. And our little walking guard, which is hilarious. I've never seen a bus with that. Like in real life, and it opens the doors. Can I kneel it? Like, is that too much to ask for? Can I kneel it? No. Emergency side door. K. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can control all these other pieces. Well, anyway, that's bouncy. Ooh, that's cool. But yeah, it's like super detailed. It's great. I mean, it's, it's a full functioning bus. Like you saw, there's a bunch of versions of it. There's like drag versions and all that. But this version is just so special. Now that we got the kids loaded up, uh, it's time to go to school, the fast way. This should be enough room for us, so we're going to go ahead and uh, see how far the engine gets us. Wow, it does have some power. It is extremely loud. I, like, need to turn it down. Okay, we're not going to make it. Oh, God, we're not going to make it. I went too late. <sighs> Yikes. Okay, let's try it again. What's cool about the Jados in this is they are like unlimited burns, so we can fly forever. All right, here we go. Now, we're gonna use the D-pad. I am on controller, so I'm gonna use the D-pad. Take us, oh, not park. Neutral will be fine. Okay. I just like wanna kill the engine. But yeah, we're using the D-pad on the controller. So I'm using an Xbox One controller, but I'm using the D-pad to actually input my uh, flight controls. But it's super funny because like, if you don't keep the Jada rockets on, oh boy, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> I looked like a leaf falling from a tree. But yeah, like if you don't keep the rockets on, the thing loses momentum. And it just kind of like, it just, it does what we just did. Like we, you just kind of fall out of the sky really gently. Can I get us back in the air again? I don't know if I can. I, with the way the frame's bent. 200 miles an hour. It wants to lift off. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Uh, that's too bad. I don't, it's bent in a way that I just don't think it's going to come off. Look at the wheels. They're just completely... Sh oh, what happened there? Yeah, I think we're done. I think, I think, uh, I think we're done. <laughs> what even is this? It won't even slow down because I have like no tires. We're getting there. 
I should really turn the airspeed indicator on, because it's it's pretty hard to tell how fast you're actually moving. Oh, that is perfect. Okay, let's try again. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, I got our airspeed gauge on this time. It's super trippy. Do I even, like, maybe I just don't even bother. Huh? Can rev all at once. It's weird, like, the sound for the, for the rockets is kind of, like, buggy. Because it just, like, Sometimes you hear it, sometimes you don't. I should just like maybe let the engine blow up because otherwise I like don't like to rev it. And then I just fall out of the sky like we did last time. Okay, so yeah, the airspeed thing is very helpful. Because especially on like grid map, you just have no idea how quickly you're moving. Now, my goal here, what I'd really like to do, I'm, I'm not moving, like, Oh, this is bad. We are not moving. We are. I did it again. I did it again. Wow. It's really weird. I don't have a rudder either, which is kind of not great. Can I? No. All right. Okay, for real this time. For real. I'm going to maybe like let the engine blow up. Oh, goodness, turn. There we go. Just let us get in the air a little earlier, right? I really need a rudder. All right, we need to pick up some speed. 200 miles an hour airspeed. Okay. So what I really want to do is I want to take off, and then I want to try to, like, land gently. Like, oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm trying to pull up. What's going on? I couldn't pull up. Did I do? What did I do? I couldn't pull up at all. Did I break something like right away? I mean, it's oh, it's, just, uh, it's okay. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Whee. Okay, I'm not doing very well here, guys. Sorry. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That wasn't me. That <laughs> that wasn't me. I don't know how that happened. That was not my fault. It was. All right. This thing does not have a great amount of lift. There it is. It just, it just, it's hard to explain how it flies. It flies like a bus with wings and rockets strapped to it. Um, which, you know, not well, basically. I love how it's just like rockets. Yeah. Okay. 300 miles an hour of airspeed, it says. But I think if I go too fast, I lose the ability to lift. Ooh, yeah, that's what's happening right now. Again. Um, oh, boy. I I got nothing. I really got nothing here. What is the trick? What is the secret? Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> no. I need help. Ooh. I don't know where the ground is. We're going to find it soon. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just like want to go up. I want to do a little turn. I want to come back down and land. Like, is that so much to ask for? Apparently it is. Because I can't do it. It just, yeah, it does not have... The elevators are not giving me a whole lot to work. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, yeah, it's it's weird because like you gotta give it some speed, but man, it, it really does not handle much speed very well. All right, let's just go for like a big banking turn, like this, ish. Oh my gosh, just try to turn, buddy. What do you think you are, a bus? You, you handle like a bus. It seems to do a little better if I kind of, like, punch the throttle. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. We've turned around, which is actually pretty significant. Um, we still have some airspeed. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to pitch it down too much. I want to gradually descend. Gradual descension is not something this bus is quite quite good at. Okay. We are doing okay. Sort of. 
Because we're very far away from the ground. It's gonna, it's gonna go downhill very, ha, get it? It's gonna, it's gonna not go well here. Um. How, what's, what's my altitude looking like here? You know, actually, we're doing okay. It's feeling more controllable than I thought it might. I'm gonna go for neutral, because I don't even know if the gears, I don't know, we blew up the engine, so I'm not really sure what. I don't want any drag on this. Whoa, that was a little framey there. Okay, okay. Sweet talk it. Just sweet talk it. Oh, 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 please. Yes, yes. It's beautiful. It's like nothing even happened. Ooh. E brake turn. Dude! Okay, that was a pretty buttery landing. I'm proud. I mean, sure, it took us like 12 runways to do it, but we did it. And and what else? What else matters? I don't know. It's a game. Nothing matters, right? All right. Let's just do one more pass. I kind of want to see if I can slam this into something here on the grid map at pretty reasonable speed. I think it could be beautiful. Um. I don't know if I'll be able to hit anything with this accuracy and stuff, but um, we're going to try. It really likes to just scoot the back end out. It's like that lack of rudder is uh, pretty rough. And we're coming in. Yeah. Oh, yep. There it is. That is uh is what happens when you crash a flying bus into a roadway so anyway that's a quick look at the dansworth um bus mod but really dansworth d2500 there's also another version with like the big nose i don't really think they're that different um but yeah with wings and rockets it's awesome pretty fun so um hope you guys enjoyed and if you didn't join, you haven't subscribed, go and subscribe. You know, you could just, you could, whatever. You just click the subscribe button, please. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.